If you own a Ford and Evo 1 like I do, and you wanted to use the alarm functions and expand on it, I mean, I've added siren, I've added a couple other little things to it, but this one is probably the most important, and it is this plug right here, which is the three pin, which is located just to the far left side, right next to the programming switch. That's all you're gonna need to expand on this system. So once you plug it in there, you see that there's three pins. Now I was told by Fortin Tech that working left to right, you would have ground, the center would be trigger, and the right would be 12 volts. Um, upon testing it right there with my meter, I could not find any voltage on the system. Not when it was disarmed, arm state. Um, I don't know uh, the logistics of that or if there's a setting or a trick to it. So I'm just going to go old school on this one. I'm going to show you how, how it works. So anyway, this one here is an AudioVox dual zone uh, shock sensor. It doesn't matter what brand, uh, what it looks like or whatever. I mean, it's real simple. I'm using it as a shock sensor, nothing else, an impact sensor. So the pins on here, you just have to basically hardwire the red to 12 volts constant. Um, black, you're going to put the ground, and then you have two blues here. Uh, the light blue for AudioVox is instant trigger, which is the one I'm going to utilize. The green is a one-away. Since this system does not provide service for a dual zone shock sensor only for instant trigger, I am not going to utilize that. So I'm going to cut that uh, green out, and I'm going to hardwire red and black, and I'm just going to use the, the blue to trigger it, and I'm going to mount this and adjust it. But just to show you how it would work through the actual just hard wiring, right? Just a, a pulse of ground to the wire on the system. But first, actually, I have to arm it. So if you have an Evo and you're using a drone or a RF kit to arm it or a factory remote, whatever you're using, I'm just going to use my factory remote. So my system now is armed. You could even, you heard my siren. I'm just going to simply take that center conductor on the Evo and pulse it to ground. If you do it really quick, it actually does give you a one-way chirp. See that? That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna actually mess around with this my own self, see if I can get it one away to, in the dual zone to work myself. Um, but that's for you to figure out. I'm just gonna show you how to do the instant trigger, so watch. There you go. I mean, you've made it so that way you don't have to rely on just hood trigger, door trigger, and trunk. I mean, you can expand on it and make it more like a real alarm system. So that's pretty cool. For me, it's a must-have. And it's there for the taking, so you might as well use it. So that's my little tip with the Evo 1 adding a shock sensor. Give it a go. Give it a try. See if you like it. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I had to hardwire it and just know for my own self, is this thing work or not, man? So what I did is I took the uh, dual zone shock sensor, right? I ran up the power and ground, so I ran into my primary ignition harness. I had the center conductor from the uh, from the Evo, right? And I twisted the um, worn away and the instant trigger from the shock sensor onto the single wire connector on the Evo to see what would happen, right? This is what happens. The alarm is armed. I guess. One away impacts. Look at that. Watch instant trigger. Huh? Who's your daddy? It works. 